Alrighty then. Hey, this is Wentus yet again, and I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of Persona 3 FES. Last time, we started a couple new social links, but more import well, not more importantly, but also we got a call from Elizabeth when we got home tonight telling us to go to the Velvet Room. Let's go ahead and see what she has to say for us. Now, let's see. Yeah, specifically talking about what happened last episode, we started our social links with Yuko. I'm getting names confused here because I want to say Yoko, but I know I've been rewatching Gurren Lagann and that's character's name in that, so I'm getting a bit thrown off by that. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Yuko. Yeah, definitely Yuko. And also, we started one with the online social link, Maya. Hello, Elizabeth. Let's see what she has to say. Okay. Um... Not sure if I'm the right guy for that. I'm not exactly strong. I don't even exercise, really. Well, I guess Minto does, so... Sorry, I... My dog is still in the background. From last episode, I mentioned this. Got a new puppy, Nanako. She is still in my room because she's still young enough to have to really... I have to keep an eye on her constantly. Okay. But yes, basically this, is, this means we can, as it says, accept Elizabeth's requests. Now, we can go here to accept the requests. And they're... I don't know how to describe this exactly. These are basically the side quests of this game. But as you can see, there are only a few open to us right now, but you can see there's a due date on some of them. We want to do those by the date it says, and also notice how this one in particular, the ones at the very top, require us to get a special item. This one's Pine Resin. 5-2 will be, uh, will most likely be your chance to obtain it. If you miss the day of May 2nd, you will not be able to get this item and this quest becomes impossible. So I'm going to be accepting this immediately. The other ones that need done before the uh, the before the date of May 7th are vi having her visit Paul Paulonia Mall. Man, I cannot speak today. But yeah, visiting Paulonia Mall with her, which is essentially... It's like a social link, but it doesn't actually have any sort of rank up to it. It's basically just a special scene that we get to have, and then we get a reward for doing it afterwards. It's really nice, and it doesn't eat up any time, so look forward to that. I'll accept that when I decide to do it, most likely after school tomorrow or something like that. And retrieving the first old document. Remember how Mitsuru mentioned that there was a blockade ahead in Tartarus? The old document is waiting at that blockade. We have to reach there in time. But of course, we also have to defeat Grey Beetles to, tr to retrieve a Beetle Shell. We'll be doing that this Saturday when we go to Tartarus. I won't be accepting that one now because we can only accept three requests at a time. Now, a Muscle Drink? I think we already have one of those. If not, I could actually buy one from the pharmacy right now. And that gets us three Revival Beads, which I think I've mentioned this already, but Revival Beads restore your allies to half health if they ever are knocked down. So... Definitely gonna get that one as soon as possible. Muscle drinks aren't even that valuable anyway. Cadenza we've already done, which is a fusion spell. So I'm gonna accept that right now, and after we leave this menu, it'll be done. Juzumaru, there's no limit on this one, but it's from a gold chest in the first block of Tartarus. So we'll have to get that soon. But, by the way, the weapon won't actually appear unless until you've accepted this request. So, yeah, when we're exploring Tartarus next, we'll accept that. So, if we leave now... Yes, we have cast Cadenza. By the way, there are many fusion spells. She has a request for each of them, but we have to do them in order. Or rather, we have to accept the request in order. So, after this is done, we'll be asked to do the next fusion spell, which I want to say is Frolic? I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, and our reward is five Augilau gems. That's actually not bad. Augilau is a more powerful version of Augie, and gems let you cast spells for the use of an item. So if we ever need a fire spell, or technically even even more powerful fire spell, we can use one of these gems. Don't be afraid to use them, you get a lot of gems throughout this game. Uh, we don't actually have a muscle drink on us then, otherwise she would have accepted that. I'm gonna go by the pharmacy and get that one done right now. I do intend to get every quest in this game. And that's a large part of why I have multiple save files, is just in case so I can go back and make up for my mistakes. 
By the way, typically I'd recommend shopping here on Saturdays because Saturdays you get a discount, I believe. Or is it Sundays? One of those two. Either way, we can just get a muscle drink right here. Notes out says restores allies HP medium. Dia restores HP for a small amount. So this is actually better than Dia, but it has a side effect. I'm not sure what the side effect is off the top of my head. I want to say it enrages your ally, which can actually be quite valuable. But only on someone like Junpei, who's a physical attacker. Also, if I remember correctly, enraging makes it so that you are forced to use a regular attack and you lose control of your ally. So it's a bit dangerous, but it increases the power of their attack. So, uh, yeah, it's made with real muscles. Actually, probably shouldn't tell her that uh, thing about Elizabeth. She doesn't, she's a bit gullible. But... We'll see more about that later. Okay, that's done. We need to make sure to make sure to get the Pine Resin on May 2nd. Don't forget about that if you guys are following along. It's seriously, you won't get another shot at it. And there's going to be lots of requests like that throughout this game. But now that that's done, let's see. It is Thursday evening, so we actually have karaoke to go to. I think that's all we had to do tonight. Yeah, pretty sure. In fact, technically, we got done more than we needed to tonight. Courage has increased. Oh, awesome! Already up from Ordinary to Determined. Halfway there. See, this is why it's important to go to those movies early on, because there's nothing else you would have done those days, and it really helps you to get things done sooner. Hmm. Academics has increased, and... Yes, I was hoping it would be right now. Uh, go, we've gone from slacker to average. And we did not end up tired. Good. Well, I won't... Yeah, I say I wouldn't mind it. Actually, I would have preferred getting tired tonight. Just because that would mean that we almost definitely wouldn't be tired for Saturday. Then again, there's no guarantees. I don't know. I don't want to be tired for Saturday. So I'm a bit worried about that. I guess it would be. It is May, after all. That... Exactly my words. Yeah. Not much we can do, though, except for fight more shadows. Yeah. Well, Yukari, you shouldn't think of yourself as a burden. I mean, we seriously rely on you. You're the only one among us that has decent healing abilities. And yes, if I recall correctly, Yukari does heal for a bit more than most of us do, because she gets a lot higher uh, skill power or magic power. FYI, Akihiko sounds at the hospital getting a checkup. Oh. He called me earlier and asked me to bring him something. Yep, he knows who to count on. <laughs> if you say so, Junpei. He only asked you because you don't have anything else to do after school. Hey, I resent that. <laughs> Didn't join any clubs? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what do you want you to bring? The class roster for 2E. That's oddly specific. What's he want that for? Well, I don't have practice today, so I'll go with you. You're coming too, right? Well, if you two are going, I sure certainly shouldn't skip out. Cool. Uh, wait a minute. Problem? What? Is there a problem? Well, well, it was me he asked. Well, yeah, you'll be delivering it. We'll just be going to visit Akiko. But why would he want the class roster for 2E specifically? Um, is Akihiko Senpai... Never mind. We'll just be going now. In this room? By any chance? What are all of you guys doing here? Oh. Uh, sorry, I was slightly distracted by the guy who was giving us a death stare. But it doesn't look like anything's wrong with you. I'm just here for a checkup. Hmm. They're gonna let you actually join us for mission soon? Is that it, Aki? Yeah, thanks. Oh, so you two know each other. I don't have time for this shit. And apparently he doesn't like you very much. Or any of us, most likely. Then again, he called him Aki, which is a very familiar name. 
Who was that? A uh, friend from school, sort of. That's weird. I haven't seen him around our school. You know how the number of apathy syndrome cases have been increasing? Yes, I've noticed. Well, he knows a few people who are suffering from it, so I was asking him about it. I see. Hey, Junpei, did you bring what I asked? Of course, senpai. Uh, y you shouldn't move your arm. Yeah, it's... If I recall correctly, moving your arm could cause some serious problems if you have broken ribs. Yeah, it's nothing. If you're sure. I've wasted enough time already. I need to get back to my training. Well, are your ribs fully healed yet? If they are, all for it. If they're not, seriously hold off. You don't want to just re-break them. Yeah! Gekko Khan's golden boy! He was born to be in the ring! Yeah, I'll believe it. Sometimes I really don't get you. By the way, senpai, why boxing? That's actually a good question. You mean, why did I choose that sport? Yeah, like instead of track, like me. Well, it's not the sport itself I like. I just wanted to learn how to fight. I see. Yeah, I can understand that. I know what it's like to feel powerless. And I don't want to feel that way again. Besides, I'm curious to see how strong I can get. Good to see you back in a good mood. It's like a game, only I'm competing against myself. Well, that's an interesting way of looking at it. It's honestly the best way to improve is not to have an opponent better than you, because you'll eventually surpass them if you try hard enough. You can't surpass yourself. You know, I'm into games too. I'm pretty sure he meant not video games. Yeah, video games. They're good for hand-eye coordination. As someone playing a video game currently, well, this one isn't particularly good for hand-eye coordination, but plenty of games are. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, we should probably go to Tartarus this weekend. Yeah, I... doesn't sound good. Well, we'll definitely be heading to Tartarus tomorrow. As for now, though, I'm going to do the runaround. Ah, uh, I'm pretty sure he was his friend, considering he called him Aki instead of Akihiko or Sanada-senpai or something like that. Well, I don't think senpai. They seem to be the same age. Hmm. We'll have to see. Either way, though, there's not a lot of things that go on when I talk to everyone, because mostly uh, this early on in the game, people are still giving tutorials. <gasps> She's here. Well, allow me to introduce you to someone, everyone. This is Dumpster Girl. She's a girl that shows up about a week before the full moon every single month. I'm surprised she shows up on when it's eight days away. That's... I'm pretty sure she usually shows up seven days away. Either way, though, I have a story about this random NPC that is sitting there and you can't even talk to her. You see, any of you who have watched my um, previous attempt at Persona 3, I definitely have already told this story before and you're familiar with Dumpster Girl. Now, you may be wondering why I call her Dumpster Girl. She isn't actually any dirty at all and she's just sitting on the ground. Well, when I first passed by her, I thought there was a dumpster there with the way the fences were set up. I thought it was a dumpster for some reason. Well, rather, when I first saw her, and I thought, oh, that girl is sitting in a dumpster. I'm gonna call you Dumpster Girl. That's about all there is to it, but I don't know why I always find Dumpster Girl fascinating. She is here during when it's clo close to the full moon, and I don't know how to put it exactly. I always make a point of saying hi to her, though, and I'm just fascinated by the fact that you can't even talk to her, and yet she's always there. Either way, though, we're going to be moving on. Also, in case it weren't obvious, she does have Apathy Syndrome. So, let's go on to Paolonia Mall. Now, let's see, it's Friday night, so we're going to the arcade then. Yeah. Uh, we do have plenty of yen, right? Yeah, we still have enough. So let's just go ahead in and play the night away. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we did get the level up last night, so that means I think it's going to be another five days or so before we get a courage, courage rank increase. But that's not a problem. You know... 
I'm a bit worried. You know what, no. I was going to say I'm considering sleeping earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and study. Oh, thank God. Whew. Was worried about that. Was really worried there. I always hold my breath whenever it's the night before uh, night in Tartarus, and I decide to study. Okay, no big deal. Now, let's see. Oh, got a uh, conversation to listen to. Oh, yeah, Golden Week. Tanaka Show. Hmm. Remember when I mentioned that there's a show to watch on your days off? Well, that's Tanaka show that I was talking about. He basically offers something for sale through mail order every week, and I'll be trying to show those when I can, but usually I'm not going to actually buy them. Just because most of the time it's something I don't need. Either way, though, today is Saturday. We are going to be spending time with Yuko today. Now, again... Typically, I don't go into any social link without a matching persona, but this time, it's actually one time that's okay. Basically, I'll be mentioning whenever it's necessary to have a matching persona. Hmm. Yep, let's go ahead and spend time with her. This will be leading into something that I wanted to talk about. I think, not this time, but in like a couple rank ups. I want to say it's when we're rank 4 with Yuko that comes up. We'll see, though. Hmm. I wonder why she's mentally exhausted, though. Well, it's probably from running the team. So, what exactly happened? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's good to see her cheered up. Hmm. You turned in a blank quiz. That's kind of surprising. Well, at least you're honest. Length of your skirt, I'm pretty sure you're wearing the standardized school uniform. Oh. I agree with you. I think you should be able to make choices for yourself. Okay, that duck in the background seriously creeps me out. Yeah, that's true. You should definitely enjoy life when you're teenagers. That doesn't mean you should completely ignore your future, but still, take some time to enjoy yourself. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Physics, no fun. Yeah, at least put something, even if you're not really trying. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, I was play along, playing along. <laughs> well, I don't know. I feel like I can trust you. Oh, fun. Yeah, that would be even worse. I look forward to it. Yuko is a lot of fun. She's one of the, in my opinion, one of the better social links in this game. Well, actually, I don't know. I'd say she's actually pretty par for the course, although I thoroughly enjoy her social link. Most of the social links in this game are really good, though. Can't think of many that are particularly bad. In fact, I can only think of one that I genuinely don't like. Yep, just still casual acquaintances, though. See you later. Sup, dude? Sup? Yeah, it's always nice to have a long weekend. I know that feeling. Actually, no, I don't really know that feeling. I. 
Okay, I have a lot of guy friends online, but in person, I tend to make friends with primarily women. I don't know why that happens, but it just does. <laughs> That's right, midterms are coming. Fun. <sighs> but yeah, midterms are going to be coming up. I should mention, you do get a very nice bonus if you manage to get rank three academics before the midterms and you answer every question correctly. And yes, it will be quizzing you on everything you've learned so far. But if you're academics rank three and you answer every question correctly, I believe you get a special reward. I don't think I'm going to be in time for that, though. But this may be a shorter episode, but I'm going to be ending this off here. Since we're heading to Tartarus tomorrow, I don't want to have this episode be like an hour-long episode by including Tartarus as well. So yeah, that's going to be it for now, everyone. Now, I guess I should do the runaround real quick before I sign off. Oh, I am so glad I decided to do the runaround. I completely forgot about the pine resin. Yes, you have to talk to Yukari to get it. That's right, since she's in the archery club, it's the yellow stuff they use for, I don't know, I think it's for their bows or... I'm not very familiar with archery, not gonna lie. Yeah, I assume it would be for the actual bow. Like, not act not the bow string, but the bow itself. Yes, we have Pine Resin now. We'll deliver that to Elizabeth and get our reward next time. Either way, though, for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy and you'd like to see more of my content, the... Oh, wow, I completely did that out of order. If you did enjoy and you'd like to support me, the best way you can is by telling your friends. Seriously, it helps me out a lot. And of course, if you haven't already and you'd like to see more of my content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Or don't. Especially after that outro. Definitely don't. Actually, it'd be a bad idea. Obviously, I'm terrible. So, either way, this has been Wentis. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time when we continue this game of Persona 3 FES. See you then.